In video number two of our Kipware QTE series, we're going to outline the material cost estimating feature uh, inside of QTE. Well, one of the building blocks of Kipware QTE is the idea of a database files. Uh, database files are available in this particular case for the material cost. And you can see that we can enter information into the database by weight, length, bar stock, plate stock, or casting or forging. Uh, now a lot of customers think that uh, I have to sit here and I have to do all this data entry to get the database created. But what we recommend you do is you enter the information in the database as you're creating the cost and estimate. So maybe today we're going to do a job. Uh, we need a 2 inch by 8 foot bar. Uh, so we go out, uh, go to the supplier, get the cost, put it into the database, and now it's in there for life. Uh, next time you get a job where a 2 inch by 8 foot bar is required, uh, that information is in the database. And you can see how easy it is to pull it back, uh, make a change, so if the change, uh, the cost changes from your supplier, very easy to make that change inside the database. Uh, another thing about databases is that uh, the Kipware QTE databases have an unlimited capacity, which means you can put the information in in multiple ways. So if you're getting discount factors, if you buy more uh, from your customer, you can put that in uh, multiple times based on the discount factor or the non-discount factor if you're not buying that quantity. Uh, and then when you go to do the estimate, you're pulling the information from the database uh, based on what you require for the job. Uh, Databases add a lot of consistency to the cost estimating process. And consistency is what we're looking for in order to be able to send our customers uh, quotes that we can rely on as well as they can rely on that the costs are accurate. So databases, uh, the building blocks of QTE, this adds a lot of consistency. Uh, very easy to build the databases, as I mentioned, as you go along uh, rather than sitting here and just putting data entry in then you're building the databases uh, based on the current information and based on what you require uh, in your shop. If we take a look at how material cost is estimated inside the software, uh, you can see this is the cost estimating uh, portion and we can pull down something from the from the database if we need or we could always do manual data entry. Uh, so maybe this is a job that uh, you don't use the, you don't stock the material. Uh, you just need to create a quote for uh, you know this particular material this time. Uh, you could do manual data entry based on the criteria that you need. But if you pull it down from the from the database, it's going to bring all the uh, lengths that you buy the stock, uh, the cost of the bar, and then in this particular case, because we're using bar stock, all we need to do is enter the length required for our workpiece. Uh, the software will now go through, uh, amortize everything, uh, give you a cost of uh, the material for the number of quantities that you're going to make, and also in the bill of material now, it will keep track of how many of these particular bars that you need. Uh, so when the job comes in and you do a bill of material, uh, you'll get an uh, accurate estimate of the number of bars that you're going to need. So that's material cost estimating inside of QTE.